Warning, CoinOp uses mature language and often talks about things that may be, and probably are, offensive, inappropriate, or otherwise objectionable to some. If you are easily offended, then f*** right off. Enjoy the show. Hello everybody out there, hola, strats, what's here, what's crappin' on y'all, and welcome back. My name is Arcade, and this is CoinOp, the only internet gaming show that would continuously subject itself to a bunch of stupid shit. That's not true. That's not true. They all do. We all do. I say we as if I'm, like, in the elite club. That They all do. All YouTubers do, for some reason or another. But nevertheless, I'm back here playing, uh, Action Hank, Brain Fart, holy, holy fuck. A second one, two in a row, that's insane. And I'm gonna go back to Sand Snails. This is the level that I've been, like, trying to avoid. I tried to avoid last episode, anyway. Um, speaking of which, last episode, last... I can't speak, either. Last episode, I actually made some progress. And was able to, uh... Unlock Lifeguard Betsy, which I have decided to play as, for some reason. And I totally forgot what this course entails. Oh, that's right, this is all the fucked up shit. That I can never get ahead of the alien on. Yep, I got okay. I remember now. Um, but speaking of this game, before I started recording, I was on Steam and I was looking at some of my uh, achievements that I have unlocked. And apparently, there is one called Rage Quit that is not a clever title. It is exactly what you think it is. It's an achievement that I unlocked for rage quitting in the middle of a level. And it's kind of funny. Like, I mean, it's it's definitely funny, but like, who'd have thought that rage quitting would ever have served any kind of purpose? Can I jump that gap? I just noticed there was a way to go down there. That's not the way to do it. I need to do what I was doing. I need to get up top, and then I need to make the big jump. But I think... Oh, no. That's, that comes down from somewhere else. There's... I'm seriously trying to figure out how this fucking level works. Because they want me... They want me to fucking get speed that I don't have. Oh, okay. I just need to get better speed coming out of that second turn. It's really the only answer. There we go. Ah, now I got it. Now we're cooking with grease. Don't die. God damn it. <laughs> now we're cooking with grease immediate failure. Such is the pattern on this channel. And you know what? I wouldn't have it any other way. I just fail and fail and fail. But then again, what fun... Would it really be entertaining at all to watch me just fucking rock socks at everything? Ugh, I fucked that one up. I don't think it would. I think if I did really good the first time every time, eventually you guys would just be like, yeah, all right, we get it. You're good at everything. What the fuck ever. Almost had it. All right, so it really is about those two, that little S curve there. There we go, that's some serious speed. Not good enough, man, what the fuck? It's a very delicate operation, it seems like, where I have to have just enough fucking speed when I come out of those turns, and then my jump has to be just good enough, and then I gotta fucking just hit it right. See, I have to have that speed, and I gotta jump sooner if I'm gonna hit that little speedy uppy thingy thing thing. Ah. 
I jumped a little late on that one. Oh, man. Now you watch, it'll be my luck that the end of the course is literally right after that section that I died on. If I can beat this course in this episode, I'll take it as a win. I still got two more sections of this fucking game to go through. And I'm struggling with these, so... You know, seriously, when I was like, alright, I have a lot of games open, I should probably close some of those series out. And I went through the list, and I looked at all the ones that I had open, and I tried to pick out which ones I thought would be the easiest to close. And I, I, this one was right up at the top of my list. It was this and Shovel Knight, and I was like, Shovel Knight, I've already played. So, it shouldn't be too fucking ridiculous to try to complete. Oh, there we go. Don't die! Oh, no! Oh, God. I can't get up the fucking wall, man. I would, you know what? I'm about ready to say fuck it. I'm running this episode until I get this fucking level. At least. Alright, I'm up. I'm over. I'm sliding. I'm jumping. I'm sliding. I'm going. Did I get a medal? Thank you. I got a medal. Level unlock Cedar's challenge. I'll take it. I'll take it. God. Let's see, so this is this has got to be what episode nine, ten, I think ten. I'm not sure. Oh, why did I pick the same one again? Why do I do that shit? I mean, at least I got some good music, but. That's not the point. All right. Level switch. Booyah. Come on. There we go. So let's see what Cedar's challenge has to offer. I'm assuming Cedar is the last, uh... Ugh, excuse me. The last unlockable character. Oh, wow. It's perfect. Fucking beach bum racing a lifeguard. What the fuck? Oh, I gotta jump on that. Oh, that's why he jumped. I gotcha. That's why he jumped. I gotta jump right after I come out of that fucking... That little hole thing. Almost. Almost. That's gonna be tricky. I was really, for, <laughs> I'm not even going to lie, the reason I'm laughing is because for a split second there, when I started the, oh no, I accidentally hit restart. Uh, like I was saying, for a split second when I started the level, I thought, wouldn't it be cool if I could do this in a one and done? I can't believe I just fucked myself out of that perfectly good fucking jump. That is so, so, so stupid of me. There we go. That is not, that's not okay. That's not okay. How am I supposed to get over that? This is another one of those perfectly timed jumps? I gotta have forward momentum too when I hit it? Jesus Christ. I seriously thought it was just all about... I should have fucking known better. 
Oh, man. And I can't move on until I beat this fucking asshole. Oh my god, Betsy, go. No, 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 no. This is so fucked up. This is so fucked up. See, like, the first levels were awesome because you could see the whole fucking track. Like, you could see kind of what was coming up in the background. And then the farther along you get, the more blind you are when you go into the course. I don't even care if I beat him, honestly. If I could just make it to the end of the course... so close but he's on a skateboard though that's unfair he's got better momentum than me dude F there's friction when you slide on your ass not a whole lot of friction going on when you fucking ride a skateboard believe in yourself I'm trying to believe in myself <laughs> oh yeah yeah I can make up time. Time can be made up. Get up the wall! Alright, this is the last one. I'm gonna drag this particular episode on too, too long. Okay, maybe one more. This game wreaks havoc on your thumb, man. You're just constantly pushing, like, straight right. One more. One more. Unamas. One more hack. One more hack. One more hack. Alright, I'm up. And I'm down. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and call it here. And thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, click the little thumbs up down below. Helps me out a lot. And as always, you guys are fucking rock stars, and I will see you guys next time on Coin Up get set off and you have to avoid everything plus you have to be at a certain time and it is insanely insanely difficult it's so